I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth what's going on everybody want to say good afternoon on this beautiful Friday as we give the Lord all the honor the glory and all the praise my title says Jews and Gentiles will be saved Jews and Gentiles will be saved um, been getting a few emails about Gentiles especially and um, sister um, Alicia I've been hearing that a long time too about Gentiles will not be saved and I see all these videos even on YouTube I heard people out in public you know and it's sad that we got so much confusion and debating and you know what all this does is just keep people divided up um, we got all this fighting about who the real Israel or you know you got Hebrew you know the Hebrew Israelites then you got you know Jews you got this you got that and it makes you wonder why is there so much debate behind this and y'all who know me y'all know I care nothing for trying to win the argument but trying to win souls for the Lord and uh, I heard what you said you was kind of attacked by one of those uh, Hebrew Israelites um, I know how they be on there I love them I pray for them you know how they be on there you know fussing at everybody beating them over the head you know going off bad on them especially the, the, uh, the black women and um, all they doing a lot of times is just trying to prove a point you know and I've heard so many say that Gentiles would not be saved so as my job as a child of God I'm going to rightly divide the word you know now first of all we must understand that salvation came through the Jews but we might, we must also understand salvation don't have nothing to do with what color you are. Salvation is an inside job, not a skin color job, not a what you got on job. And uh, most people would understand this, you know, <laughs> they wouldn't be going around here with all this. But salvation came through the Jews first. But they'll tell you, oh man, it was only for the Jews and they'll stop right there. You know, and that's that's sad because if you're going to stop right there then wasn't even no point of Christ coming you see what I'm saying God said I sent my son not to condemn the world but through him the world could be saved I'm just having a real talk video right here um, you know so I'm kind of just be throwing some stuff at you and I'm going to be asking some questions because sad thing is some people only be they want to be the only ones that's going to make it into the kingdom and they don't want nobody else to be saved which is sad now once again last time I checked the color of my skin the color of your skin what race you are it don't have nothing to do with your soul being saved because it's about the heart God looks at the heart and anybody that say anything different calling this a lie what I'm saying they don't believe in the true word of the Lord they don't believe the gospel now think about the gospel alone, the good news. Hmm. See what I'm saying? What did he tell the disciples to do? Go ye therefore. You see what I'm saying? To all nations. Not just to the Jews. As a matter of fact, you think about it, our Savior was rejected by the Jews. See, there's so much we can get into in this video, and I'm I'm going to try to do this video where it's not, you know, real, real long, you know. But you got, I know what you mean, you got these um, Israelite groups out here who only teaching that Gentiles can't come to the Lord and they can't be saved. Um, I, heard, I heard this all the time. And then some say, yes, they can. And then you got, you know, what the Jehovah Witnesses say also. So we got a bunch of confusion out here. Now, once again... When you just look up the word Gentile, especially with the original meanings, Gentile is, is simply nations. A whole bunch of people who wasn't considered Jews. That means that's a whole lot of people. Then you remember in the Bible you had Samaritans. You had so many, in, you know. Now keep in mind, Jews and Samaritans didn't even get along. But look who Jesus met up with at the well, a Samaritan woman. And he reached out to that woman. And that woman was able to go back and tell how many people? 
So if it wasn't no, if it was a such thing as um, Gentiles would not be saved, then that cut out everything Jesus done. Now keep in mind, where did Father Abraham come from? Abraham wasn't even a Jew. A lot of people don't even understand that. Abraham wasn't even considered a Jew. When you look in the Bible, where did you even see? How long did it take for the word Jew even came into play? And then you see Israelite. Now you got all this debating once again, Israelite, Jew, who the fake Jews, who the real Jews. But there's so many scriptures that taught us about the Gentiles. And, and, and so many people that Jesus healed, oh man, healed so many and reached out to so many people who wasn't Jews. Now what does that tell you? He looked at the heart of a person. Matthew 28 and 19 was what I was talking about. When he when it says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the who Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Go ye therefore and teach, not some, not a part, not just the Jews, but all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Look at the day of the Pentecost. Look at when Peter preached. 3,000 were saved and baptized. I wonder, was that just Jews? You see what I'm saying? These are the things that we have to look at and we have to rightly divide the word. When he say, go ye therefore and teach all nations, that means it's going to be people from all nations that's going to be saved. I didn't say everybody was going to be saved. Do I believe in universal salvation? No. I wouldn't dare teach that everybody's going to be saved because the Bible shows you everybody's not going to be saved. It teaches us that. As a matter of fact, the Bible teaches us that it's, it's going to be more in going to the road of destruction than it is going into the kingdom. But like I say, my sister, um, it's so much we can say on this. Um, it made me go back to um, Japheth. Um, look at Noah and this his sons and Japheth was of the Gentiles too. A lot of people don't teach you that. Uh, what is that? Genesis chapter 10. Look at verses 2 through 4. You see what I'm saying? All of them are traced back to the European nations. The Europeans, was they black or was they white? Or some might say Caucasian. So what I'm why am I saying is because anything that anybody that wasn't considered a Jew, you was put in the Gentile category. You know, but the problem is these movies that they done sent out made so long. You know, I'm not trying to make this a video talking about color, but I have to point this out. The problem is that when it comes to talking about the dark skin colored man, they want to throw that out in the Bible. They don't want to tell you, you know, about black. I don't like to use the term black, but you know, you know, we just accepted that a hey, black man. I'm not a black man. I, I just, I, I don't, I'm not even black. Look at my skin color. Black is way darker than what I am, you know, but not to jump off and all that. But my, what my point is is that we just want to accept so much stuff that people throw at us without even studying. Well, here's, I'm going I'm to I'm throw this at you about Paul. Look at Paul. Um, Romans 11, chapter 11, I believe. <clears throat> Around verse 13, Paul said, For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. Now, you got this great debate. People were saying, Paul wasn't a Jew. Paul was a Gentile. Paul was a Benjamite. Paul was this, Paul was that. You see the confusion? When you read different scriptures, well, what was Paul? I did a video breaking that down too a long time ago, but. My point is, look at who Paul taught. Paul taught the uh, Europeans. We know that he taught the Romans. Um, what else? Out of the whole New Testament, look at all those books. He taught the Corinthians. He taught the Galatians. He taught the Philippines. I mean, uh, the, the Philippians, excuse me. He taught the um, Thessalonians, etc., etc. That's why the salvation, once again, did come through the Jews first. That's why when you know who you are, you're supposed to be teaching what's real, not just telling folks a one-sided story. Jesus dealt with Israel 
we know first he was rejected and then he went on to the Gentiles. See, Jesus wasn't doing what a lot of these people are doing now, sitting up here beating folks over the head, trying to figure out who's the real Jew and all this stuff. He want he looked at your heart and he wanted you to be saved. He 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 went after the loss. He did. If you was a sinner, you could have been white, black, Chinese, like nowadays. I don't care what your race are, as a sinner in every race. Jesus wants you saved. Not a, not just because you are a Jew. So when they didn't, when his own didn't receive him, he kept it going, kept on going, excuse me, to who? The Gentiles. We got to tell the truth, y'all. So when I hear people say, yeah, Gentiles won't be saved, you got to be a Jew to be saved. That's country, I mean, that's going against the Bible. That ain't even what, that ain't even what Jesus taught. Or we can say, Yahshua, that's not what the Bible teaches us. And it's ignorant for people to, to me it's stupid, for people to sit up and tell, just say, just say I go to work uh, Monday and here is this, this white man who's looking for truth. And I, I turn around and do him like a lot of these people are doing on YouTube. And I'm going to tell them, man, you can't be saved. You ain't from my tribe. You going to hell. You ain't going to see the kingdom because of your skin color. That's dumb. Now, I'm going to tell that brother, if you want to know who the Lord is, I'm going to tell him, you know, the truth. See, the Bible shows us all men, women, and children who, who partake of the covenant will be saved. All this division and confusion, man, it's just, it's just messed up how it is, y'all. It's just, it's so many scriptures that's coming up in my mind that I can go in, but I'll make the video, you know, real long by doing it like that. It's just like when you talk about the law, and then you talk about grace and mercy. You got a great debate. And truth be told, could none of us keep the law. Israel couldn't even keep the law. A man after God's own heart broke the law. Jesus didn't break the law. That's why Jesus could fulfill the law. Jesus didn't have no sin. All of us did. So as, as far as salvation goes, the color of my skin, that's totally irrelevant. And that's what's sad about people that's sitting up here with all this, yo, yo, brother, you ain't the right color. You ain't no truth. You an Israelite. No, no, he ain't no Israelite. He a Jew. Man, I tell people all the time, I'm a, I'm a child of the Most High. I'm a servant. I've accepted the Lord as my personal Savior. He lives in me. Case closed. All this debating about who you are and what you think you are and who the real man. I ain't got time to be trying to do God's work. What do you mean by that, JT? He going to do the separating. Let the weeds and the tiles grow together. Because harvest time, JT ain't going to do the separating. The Lord wills. And when the Lord returns, it ain't going to be no confusion on who was right and who, who think they know it all. And You know why? Because he ain't going to make no mistakes. There is the lake of fire and there is the heaven on earth. You're going to be in you're gonna be in either heaven or you're going to be in the lake of fire. Ain't going to be no more hell. The grave is going to be over and done. You're either going to be in the lake of fire or you're going to be in heaven. Case closed. That's the word. So I saw these brothers uh, fighting the other day about the law, and oh brother, you 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 ain't no real Jew. I just sat back and I said, wow. He he started talking about Paul and the law. Now if you notice anything about Paul, Paul did not teach people to observe the law in order to be saved or justify what Paul did. He taught them to observe the law in order to honor the Lord because they loved Him and obeyed Him. Boy, when the word is not rightly divided, it's just a mess, y'all. Once again, if you're going to say Gentiles will never be saved, then you might as well say Jesus came for nothing. He went to so many people. Look at all the people that had demons in them that he healed. You he ain't never read where it just said Jesus only healed the Jews. Because if this was the case, he would have never said nothing to the Samaritan woman at all. He would have went up to that Samaritan woman at the way and said, you know what? Oh, you ain't no Jew. I can't save you. 
But you know what? I'm going to keep moving because just because you are not a Jew, my sister, you're not going to see heaven. No, he told that lady, told that lady that the, that that it's going to come a time. Oh, let, what did he say? Yeah, I'm going to let y'all finish that. It's going to come a time when what? Y'all finish that for me. As I ask y'all a few of these questions, as I try to close this video out with these questions. The term Jew, where did it come from? Who's son? Sad thing is, there's too many people in the world think that Jews are Israel. Uh, it's just all Israel. Now that sound confusing what I just said, did it? Now let me tell you why I said that. The first place in all the entire Bible where the word Jew first came at, it was in 2 Kings, I believe. Go to 2 Kings chapter 16, get around verse 6. Well, you are told the Jews are at war against Israel. I sound confusing, don't it? Why would Israel be at war with Israel? Mm. Just like the term, they were called Christians. Christianity. You can't be saved if you're a Christian. This is what people are doing. And your heart can be right and you following the Lord and somebody going to tell you you're going to hell because of what you call yourself. Why wasn't Abraham a Jew? Hmm. Father Abraham, the one the Lord chose to start it all up with. Gentile. And then how many Jews rejected Jesus? Now the Bible teaches us that our Savior was a Jew. But my question is, I want to ask you, are Jews a nation or a religion? Now think about this. We wind, we wrapping this video up. But think about this. After uh, King Solomon died, the death of Solomon, we know King David's son, you had a split, didn't you? You had the 12 tribes of Israel that got divided up into what? Two kingdoms. In the south, you had the kingdom of what? Judah, which included the tribes of Judah and who? Benjamin. And we can say some Levites and some priests. That centered around what? Capital Jerusalem and the Holy Temple. But then you had what? The Northern Kingdom. So you had the Southern Kingdom and then you had the Northern Kingdom. Of what? Israel. Why did you see Judah? Then you saw Israel. And then in the, in the Northern Kingdom of Israel it included the other ten tribes. Now let me ask you another question. What is the difference between a Jew and an Israelite? Are they the same? We might need to do a part two on this. Are they the same or are they different? Now I want to see y'all answers on this. So then, 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 and then you wonder why so many debates going on and why is it you got so many fake Jews and you got so many real Jews. Now let me ask you one more question as we close. The people who consider themselves Jews that's over there in the land right now, really, are they the real Jews? Or who are they? May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Just a little Bible study tonight, y'all. Y'all take care and have a blessed day. Lord, say the same. I see you when I see you. Peace.